Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday. Hello, Jimmy Dag. Welcome. Welcome. You. So um, we've got a lot to cover today. We're going to talk about the stats. We're going to talk about what the Department of Justice just did for us. We're going to talk about an item of value. We're going to show a video, and then we're going to talk a little bit about YouTube. And so away we go. Okay. So the stats, yeah, we're down to uh, 16 days of inventory. Um, nervous, nervous for me, nervous for me, you know that. I don't like that. Um, here they are. And we listed 136 homes yesterday, which I'm very happy because we put 111 <laughs> under contract. So we got a little bit ahead of the game. Uh, I don't know, uh, but we're still selling. We've closed 82. And Jimmy, I've been, um, May doesn't, the May stats don't really mean too much right now because it's too early in the game. But, you know, in April, we sold 155 homes a day. Incredible. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's that got to be one of our best months. Right. The uh, million dollar homes, uh, 507 have sold um, this, through May of this year compared to 618 all of last year. And how many were sold in December? Um, it was 130. 130. Yeah. Yeah. So most of their, well, that's what 20, almost 20% 20 mm -hmm. was sold in December of last year's figures. And we're already 82% of last year's figures with 507 sold. And there's 372 active. So they don't have a lot of active homes either, but at the rate they're going, um, they're going to be, uh, you know, in the same boat we are with available homes. So, well, you know, Blue Heron just had a, a grand opening of the house they just built up on the hill. $30 million they're asking for this house. $30 million. Oh my gosh. Wait, did we not start? My thing says error occurred, but but it, it gave us a countdown. Karen is here. So, Karen's Karen. Here. Let, me, let me double check everybody. Okay. Uh, I was saying to Jimmy that, you know, these. Uh, Karen, ask Karen if she's here. Karen, can you see us? Uh, I don't, did she comment? Karen, can you see us? She said so. Let me just make sure real quick. And Facebook user just came on, so they just said hello. Okay, so hello, so doing. you can hear us, okay. Yeah, they make so many changes to these platforms and uh, so, uh, it's not going to work for me. I don't know why. Right. Okay. Anyway, so here we are. Um, yes, Karen. Yes. Okay, good. I don't know why it's saying that. Um, but anyway, they improve their platforms constantly, and so there's glitches every once in a while. However, uh, we were talking about – go ahead, Jimmy. You were talking. Well, just the stats, like you said, the stats. Um, that Blue Heron opened a, a new high-end home, $30 million. That's wow. the asking price. We'll see what happens. And then I heard that there, I think it was Dr. Horton. I don't know if Frank's here today. He usually uh, corrects me or helps me out with my uh, information if I get it wrong. But in passing, an agent said that they, I think it's Dr. Horton, just opened a new home subdivision and it's only for first time home buyers. I good think that's them. brilliant. I think yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's nice. Because the cash buyers are not going to mount of the ballpark, you know, mm -hmm. with the offers. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I think that is just brilliant. I don't know. I can't say any other words except it's brilliant. And the good news today is, and I have to shout out to Tammy Compton. Tammy, uh, last night at 11 o'clock, she texted me and said, did you see the announcement that the uh, National Association of Realtors just uh, posted? And so, you know, five o'clock this morning, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. And so what has happened, everybody? Very important. Um, the U.S. District Court judge ruled Wednesday that the CDC eviction moratorium is unlawful, striking down the ban and delivering relief to housing providers, that's our investors and some of us, uh, who haven't been able to collect rent from struggling tenants for more than a year. The U.S. Department of Justice already has filed an appeal. Um, in, in the judge's 20-page ruling, she quote, this is a quote, it is the rule of the political branches and not the courts 
to assess the merits of policy measures designed to combat the spread of disease, even during a global pandemic. The question for the court is a narrow one. Does the Public Health Service Act that, that uh, I think Trump uh, put, into a for, put into force grant the CDC the legal authority to impose a nationwide eviction moratorium? And Judge Dabney said it does not. So that is such good news for us. I mean, I'm sure there's been a lot of investors and uh, uh, and even people that, here's the other thing, Jimmy, that I just now came to my mind. Think about the sellers that want to sell their home or want to buy a home and make their home an investment home, but don't want to because of, of um, this edict to uh, not allow people to be evicted. I'm well, sure that crosses the mind of many smart people. Sure. And you and I have a very important meeting tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock with some property managers that are in the thick of this. It'll be interesting to see what they have to say about this. We'll get some very educated, knowledgeable, on top of everything opinions tomorrow with the, the guests that you invited to that thing or with some smart people are going to be there. I'm looking forward to that. Yes. Yeah. And I and I understand that the new home sales, um, a lot of the new homes are um, selling to investors. Mm. Yeah. And so uh, that might even increase the new home sales. I mean, we've sold 5,328 new homes so far this year, which is an average of uh, 1,200 and what about 1,215 homes a month? Yeah. That's... I mean, that's fantastic. And I'm going to post that in the group as well. So you can see um, the statistics by builder. And, and last year we did about 900 a month on average. Yeah. So, so... so 1,200 a month is that's up by 33% new homes. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, the things that are going on um, are but just you, You've brought this up numerous times. We're going to hit some affordability issues here, and that's going to slow things down. That's going to make sellers say, well, you know what? It, if interest rates bump up 1%, from 3% to 4%, 1% doesn't sound like a lot, but that's a 33% increase in your payment. That's going to hit some affordability issues. And so it's going to maybe take some of the sellers out of the complete driver's seat and it's going to make some buyers, it's going to push them out of the market. And this is this has been your concern about, you know, an imbalanced market that we have. It's going to correct itself. Yeah. Yeah. And and the fact that one of the builders is, is allowing first time home buyers to uh, only to buy those homes is also going to probably, probably I would guess a lot of those first time home buyers aren't going to be making offers on homes that are resales if they know that they can go someplace and be honored as first time home buyers only. Mm -hmm. So I think that's, uh, that, we'll see. I mean, all these things are going to add to the momentum of the market and the balance. Well, and what's interesting is everybody's scrambling to try to figure this out and everyone is guessing. What you have <laughs> to do is really focus on what Brittini's teaching us. Go to your main people, stay in touch with your main people so that you're not displaced by some market shiny object. You got to keep on to op calls, notes, Popeyes, DMs, your, your five, 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 five program. You're keeping right. in touch with the ones that matter. Exactly. Exactly. And, and we talk about, you know, the five, 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 five for the social media connections. And then also, you know, three times a month you do, you've got to do your phone calls. You've got to do your Popeyes and you've got to do your email, which if you're agent formula, we do it for you, but you also have to communicate uh, with, uh, uh, with sending people things like this item of value for this month. Great segue, Jimmy. This is the hidden perks of great credit. Um, and that's the one side of it. And the other side is tips for building excellent credit. Cool. And go ahead. That, and that's just cool. That's just a great piece. It is. And we, uh, uh, if you're a property manager, like we email this out to all of our owners and our tenants. And so the tenants uh, get something from us every month, an item of value. And a lot of uh, the things this year have been about credit, have been about savings, have been about buying a home. And uh, one of them was about selling a home. So it crosses the, it crosses all the, the different topics that, you know, either a tenant's thinking about, an owner's thinking about. Um, and then I also send this out to my agents, Jimmy, mm -hmm. so that they can use it as well. Um, you know, in their marketing and I put it in the group. So I'm trying to spread it around so we can all get all this good information out to people who have questions about our industry. So that's my purpose for doing all that. 
And there was an article in Forbes magazine last week that said that savings rate went right up while people were locked down. They, they didn't go out. They didn't spend as much money. So we've actually saved more money. So people that had no money, now they have some money. And, you know, we talk about the economy and the economy is on fire. It really is because to that point, um, pre pandemic, the, the um, I think the, the one, it was $1.2 trillion the Americans had in savings and now it's over 2 trillion. So people have been saving their money. Yeah. And that, that strengthens the economy as well as, um, I think the stats said also that people are putting twice as much down on homes that they're buying. So, you know, all around, we are just making us ourselves a very solid economy. Well, when you say a trillion, you know, a billion is a thousand millions and a trillion. Is that it's, a million millions? No, I think it's a thousand, isn't it? No, a billion no, is a thousand millions. So it a has billion to is a thousand millions. Because a hundred wow. million is a hundred million. A billion is a thousand millions. A trillion is a million millions. Wow. That's I know. Cool. When we throw out this T number, we 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 hear this number, but we don't it's almost impossible to conceive of this in our head. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just wanted to give kudos here to Karen and uh, the Facebook user. Um, I don't see Frank today. Um, but yeah, I mean a million. Millions, a million millions. Wow. wow. Can you believe it? Anyway, I mean, our savings has almost doubled, which is yeah. incredible. And then I think I did say this to you the other day that the Federal Reserve has, or the um, Fort Knox has uh, over 14 trillion in gold. So that's, that's just know. a cool thing to know. That's just a cool thing to know. <laughs> yeah. We, the gold's still there. The gold's still there. Nixon, you know, uh, gave up the uh, gold backing of the dollar, but he kept the gold in the treasury. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. That's our money. Jimmy, that's our money. Let's yeah, go get yeah. some. <laughs> if we ever had to really pay back some stuff, we had the money to do it. <laughs> right. All right. So Jimmy, today we're going to talk. Uh, yesterday I had part one of YouTube to how you set up your channel and uh, some of the things that you need to do. Um, and one of the things that uh, we talked about was, you know, the, the, what are you going to talk about? And I gave some ideas, you know, you need like a, a, do three topics and do three videos and batch them. In other words, do them offline and then you can upload them um, at, if you want to edit them or if you want to add something to them. If you know how to do that or if you know someone who knows how to do that, that's fine. If you don't, it's fine just to be authentic and upload them. Mm -hmm. And um, so so there is a, a class today in law by J.C. Melvin. And where is his video? I had it. I had it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Here it is. <laughs> Things hide from me. And I <laughs> OK, we're going to watch this. This is so cool. This is a, this is so cool and it's so timely. So we're going to watch it again. I played it yesterday, but I'm going to play it again today. So it didn't play? No. Good thing you played it yesterday because we don't get to see it today. <laughs> I don't know what goes on. Um, anyway, the, the point is that, you know, when do you want to sell your house? Great. And the, and the answer is now. But the point is that they, they did something funny. And I think that people should think, I mean, you can do this yourself, you know, mm. get a partner and you can do the same thing. You know, um, you know, the great Jimmy Digg, <laughs> right? And then you can dress up and somebody can ask you the question and you can pop it out there. I just thought that was really uh, cool. Just, uh, you know, and, and if you, and Jimmy, um, JC Melvin, and I think it's Matthew Peters or Peter Matthews, I, I get them twisted. But anyway, their YouTube channel, they did this in April of 2014. Wow. They haven't done another video since, but they, at the time they did a whole series, everybody of, of selling, you know, how the whole selling process from staging your home, you know, from questions sellers have. And if you want some inspiration, watch their videos, mm -hmm. go to their channel, JC Melvin's channel and watch their videos on sellers and get some inspiration. Um, and let me get this crawler off of here. 
Okay. Well, if you don't um, have your law and legislative credits either, I, this is the first time JC's ever taught a class for Asian formula. Yes. And and he's really skilled at this topic. This this law and legislative. This is this is his wheelhouse. So if you if you don't have time to show up, it starts at ten, which is yes. twenty minutes from now. Spend a couple hours online. Zoom in. Just take the class. You're, you're yeah. going to pick up a lot from that class. It's really, really worth taking. Absolutely. So, Jimmy, we're going to talk a little bit now about uh, YouTube. Okay. So yesterday we, we told everybody about setting up their channel, about getting some topics ahead of time, and about the intro, the uh, the meat of it, and then the outro. So the, just the basic structure of a video. And today we're going to talk about how to increase your video views on YouTube. So once you set up your channel, then you need to um, get people, you know, more people to view your videos. So here's a few tips. Um, I have time, I think, for a few. And uh, I think my YouTube is going to go into YouTube number three show because uh, of all the breaking news we had to discuss today, which is exciting. So anyway, and that's something else you can <laughs> Do a, you can do a video about anything. Yeah. So anyway, so so you have your videos up on YouTube. Number one, promote your YouTube videos outside of YouTube. So use your social media and email as a way to distribute those YouTube videos to drive more traffic to your YouTube channel, but then also to show people what you're doing. You can share that YouTube link on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, and you can email it in your newsletter. So it can be part of your tagline. Watch watch this week's um, selling tips video. Why, and, that, and the next next week can be watch this week's buying tips video. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so that they go to your YouTube channel and you get views. And guess what, Jimmy? Consistency counts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> of course. So pick a day you know, once a week to publish your videos. Let people know when your videos will be published. So I send out reminders all the time when I'm going live. Mm -hmm. Set aside time once per month to batch create your videos. And I mean, that's a great idea because mm -hmm. you can batch create your videos for YouTube. And then because you've done that, now you can go live with the same thing on Facebook or LinkedIn. Uh, or you can even go live on YouTube. So if you wanted to, but the point is, if you batch create, you start getting more comfortable with your delivery right. and with yourself, right? You know, and, and somebody, you know, told me a long time ago, it was Marketing Max, my moderator on Saturday. He says, Ruth, why don't you do videos? And this was like four years ago before I, I started doing them so regularly. And I said, well, I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I sound. So he says, so he says to me, he says, so you don't go to a listing because you know, you think you're too fat or you, you don't like your voice. You wow. are who you are. Yeah. Wow. He says, yeah, you look, this is, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get, whether it's on video or whether you're knocking on a door. <laughs> that's a great question. So you don't go on a listing appointment because you don't like how you look. Wow. That's a good question. <laughs> And that got me, that was the thing that put, that put me over the edge. I said, okay, I'm going all in. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> so consistency counts. Um, and then post the same time every week. And I was talking about this a couple of weeks ago. Pick a day, pick a topic, you know, uh, Teresa's tips, you know, uh, Claudia's comment day or whatever real estate comment day. I mean, you can just pick something and it, ha and it should be something that's kind of um, spicy, you know, like Ruthie rocks yeah, and Jimmy Degg, the black belt broker, you know, have something spicy attached with your name so that people pay attention. Yeah. Cool. You, you can't tell people what you want unless you have their attention and then have a great title. So for listing videos, always include, you know, the, the, um, the, now, I a lot of people, I'm going to say, a lot of people say the, uh, the address, I don't agree. I say, here's a listing video. It's in Summerlin. That's as much as I would tell people. Mm -hmm. Number one, I don't think it's cyber secure to do it. I don't think people need to know, the, you know, uh, the address of someone that's selling their home because, number one, it might be vacant. That's not a good thing for some some of these cyber hackers to know or these cyber uh people that are uh, 
stalkers. That's not good for them to know. So anyway, I, I just say, this is my Summerlin uh, open house. And, um, and then you tell them where to go to contact you, direct message you to get where it is. Right. Uh, I'm just saying you have to be safe. Right. You can't be too safe. Um, and you're going to have open house signs anywhere. And you can tell people, go to the corner, you know, go to the corner of uh, Town Center and Sahara, turn right and you'll see my open house signs. You can do that, mm -hmm. you know, but I just don't want to publicly say the address, but that's just me. And then for other um, videos that are informative, you know, you can use a title that answers a question. So what you, how do you, so go to Google and see what people are searching. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you ask a question like, um, how many homes are for sale in Summerlin? And Google says there's a million people that want to know that because it'll tell you, you know, how many people are searching. So you can go to Google if you're if you're at a, at a loss to come up with a title. Um, and that's, then that's a good that's a good question though. That would get people's attention if they're thinking of Summerlin. How many homes are for how many homes are for sale in Summerlin? That's a really good opener. Yeah, yeah, and um, and and then. You have to think of it, Jimmy, like the, the title's like a book cover. Mm -hmm. Did you ever not pick up a book because you didn't like the cover? <laughs> you know, another title would be Summerlin versus Green Valley. Mm. You know, just, it's, I'm thinking of Summerlin, I'm thinking of Green Valley. Well, what's the difference? Oh, Summerlin versus, there, there's a video, Summerlin versus Green Valley. Yeah, great. I know. When you just start brainstorming a little bit, it's amazing. As opposed to people, you know, they lead with their negative mind. And you need to lead with your positive mind. Have you seen Seth Godin's book that does not have a title on it? No. He has a book out and the cover. It's got this guy with this, like this tinfoil hat or something like that. And it's a guy that looks crazy. And, and that's the, that's the cover. There's no oh title gosh. on the cover. You, you don't even know the author is Seth Godin unless you pick What the hell is this? <laughs> oh yeah. He's uh, yeah. He's <clears throat> yeah. He's different, but yeah. And then, um, Oh, the other thing I talked about, oh, here I go. <laughs> you know, I talk too fast for myself. <laughs> I do. You know, some recordings I speed up. Some recordings I might slow down a little bit. Let's see, where's my button to slow down this talker? <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's what makes me cough. So slow down, Ruth. <clears throat> I'm always worried about taking people's time. Um, so anyway, what we talked about yesterday uh, a little bit was a playlist. So on YouTube, they'll have the first uh, menu item is videos. The second one is uh, playlist. And people click on playlist. So if you go to my YouTube channel and you click on playlist, you're going to see the MLS stats. And we cut the, the other part of the video off. And then we have, you know, the full show, the full show. Uh, and the complete show, I should say. And then we have uh, community videos and so on and so forth. But the first two, um, you know, are cat everything is categorized because some some people don't care about, you know, real estate, but they care about the stats. They don't care about the things you and I talk about, for instance. You know, they don't care about learning how to use YouTube, but they do want to know what the stats are. So we started cutting the the show in half or in, in thirds and just posting the MLS stats on um, one of the playlists mm -hmm. and we got, we started getting a lot more viewership. Mm -hmm. So, and it's easy to trim a video. I mean, if you can cut a piece of paper, you can cut a video. Well, and that's CRM that's managing the relationship with the customers, giving them what they want. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to watch 30 minutes if they only want 10. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. And they'll pass over something if it's too long. So then you need a detailed description. If you go to my page again and click on description. You need to see that it has keywords about what I'm talking about. And then it has all the places that they can go to, you know, to, for more information with little green check marks. Um, if you go to um, Gary V's channel and you look, click on description, you'll see he does the same thing. And like if you've written a book or you're or, or you have an open house or something, you can put a check mark and a link there to my weekly open house or something. I mean, but you need to have things in the description because that's how Google determines um, if I want to what I if somebody wants Las Vegas real estate and then they see that they read that description to find out what to put in front of you. 
text, the, the consumer. So your description has to be very descriptive with keywords. Well, and that's a pretty big endorsement when Gary Vee is copying you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I like that twist. I'll go with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then uh, the links. You want to put other links um, in your description, and you want to have a call to action in there so people know you know where to find you. Because once they, a lot of people click on that description, they want to see that those things because they know if they're watching YouTube, they know that that's what's in there. Um, and then rev, rev.com. You can take that video, you upload it to rev.com, and it will do a caption on your video if you want. It's a dollar and a quarter. Um, um, it's a dollar and a quarter a minute to caption it. And also you get a transcription. So now you can take that transcription and you can actually use that for your description. <clears throat> So you take the transcription, which they transcribe everything you're saying, and human human beings do it. It's not uh, a robot, and and then you you paste that in your description of your video. Now people, you know, whatever you're talking about, people are going to know because all the words are in there because they search by you know the topic they want to know about. Clear? I have a printing business for sale for five hundred thousand dollars. And Kane gave me Rev because I've got three little short videos that the owner of the business did for me. I said, look, you need to get one of your staff to explain what these machines do. And it turned out awesome. And yeah. we have it in Chinese and we have it in English. So he's speaking in English, but the subtitles are Chinese. Wow. So it's, it's, it's really separates out my, there's a bunch of printing businesses for sale right now, but this one is the only one that's got videos that are subtitled like this. It's really captioned, like really it's very I think my seller is going to be so excited when he sees it. I haven't showed it to him yet. I just got it yesterday. Yeah. Rev.com is a great, great site for those things. Yeah. And then have a great thumbnail. And I saved it for last because that's one of the most important things. My thumbnails were, oh, they stunk. I did. I just didn't have time to do them. And so I finally, um, I finally uh, got somebody to, uh, to do them for me. Um, give me some examples. I changed my uh, cover um, and I'm still playing with it. You know, I'm, I'm not real, I'm, I'm still not real happy with my thumbnails, but your thumbnails need to ask a question. Like right. today, the thumbnail should say, what did the DOJ just decide, you know, on uh, evictions? So your thumbnail, because again, you have to appeal to all the senses, right? Mm -hmm. And somebody's visual, they're not reading, they're not searching, they're just like, they put real estate up there, they don't care. But then they see that and they stop because that's a question that they want the answer to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's enough for today on how to increase your video views on YouTube. And um, it's a great day. Uh, I'll put all this stuff in the group. I don't always do it the same day, but eventually it gets there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I plan on being at your office in the morning tomorrow because we have the property management symposium after the show. So I'll see you in the morning. Yes. And Jimmy and I uh, are doing a um, property management class, which will be part of the requirements for property management uh, come October uh, because they're going to need nine credits now instead of three. Right. They really upped the game on that one. They did. <laughs> They did. Yeah. We, we love you, everybody. Jimmy, thank you so much for coming today. I really yeah. appreciate it. No problem. I'll thank see you in the morning. You. See okay. you in the morning, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.